Hey everybody, it's Travis speaking. Today I wanted to get back to kind of where we started with creating a part for this chessboard. And there was a few things that I wanted to cover in regards to the model browser. Um, one of those concepts being the base object reference node. And so we'll take a look at that. And I also want to just go over briefly how you'll take some of your existing drawings or parts and how you'll be able to make simple quick changes to get uh, what you need. So the first one that I'd like to go over is how to create uh, something of a different material. Obviously if we're creating a chessboard and we've already got uh, a black rook here we can use this existing black rook and create a white one with it. So I just changed the visual style there quickly just so we could get an idea as to the geometry for this part. But um, what I'd like to do is just come over here to open and I'm going to find one of the pieces, this one here, um, what's that, insert white, and this will give me an idea as to the material that I used in the chessboard. So this is just the insert square that the um, pieces are going to rest on. And so if I come up here to the materials at the top in the quick access toolbar, I'll notice that I'm using the Autodesk appearance library and it's using this polished uh, silver color here. Okay, so I'm going to come back over to my black rook here instead and I'm just going to come back to that menu and in the Autodesk appearance library um, this is what I wanted to bring your attention to. If you change it to the inventor library you might not see it. So if it's something that uh, it's not appearing maybe just change the library and you should find what you're after. So let's see if we can't locate that polished silver um, here we go, polished silver. Okay, so it's not exactly white, but um, it, it gives that white effect for what we need right now. So once that change is made, I'm just going to simply come back up to my application menu. And this time I'm going to hit Save As. And instead of Rook Black, this one's going to say uh, WHT for white. Okay, so now I've got two pieces. I've got a white rook and a black rook. So using this white rook, let's take a look at uh, what the base object reference node means. The base object reference node essentially is um, the part or the feature in your model browser that everything else comes from. So our base object here is this extrusion. If I bring my end of part feature up underneath that first extrusion, you'll see that I started off with a simple cylinder. And if I take my end of part feature and I drag that down, you'll start to see the part evolve or take shape. Okay, so as you do this, you'll see some messages, whether it's an error message or not. It'll give you an idea as to what's happening here. So the next thing that I did was I created this revolve. And if I move that end of part feature down below that, you're going to start to see the geometry come away. So the base object reference node for this revolve is this first extrusion. Without this extrusion, this, this um, reference can't take place. So simply put, if we want to start creating a new, a new part here, let's take a look at, at what we can do. Um, this chamfer here, if, uh, if I don't need that, I can simply right click and say delete or I can suppress it. So the suppression just means that the feature is still there but it's not showing, it's not illustrated. So I might want to keep that or I might want to just delete it. Um, this up here, I don't need that at all for what I'm about to do so I'll delete that. Now you'll see that it's asking me, do you want to delete the consume sketches and features? Well there's some uh, well, let's take a look at what's within inside that. So I'm just going to say cancel for the time being, but I'm going to expand this extrusion and see what it was. What did I draw here? It's just a circle. Okay, so if I click on this fly out, I can go back into that sketch and modify it. But I'm finding that I don't really need it. So when I say delete and it asks me if I want to delete the sketch as well, I'll say okay. All right, so now we're starting to see what's going on here. I've got a pattern. So essentially this extrusion 2 is the base object reference node for this circular pattern 1. 
So if I come to the extrusion 2 and delete this, it's going to say again, consume sketches and features. Well, the features consumed within this would be this circular pattern in the chamfer, or sorry, not the chamfer, but this extrusion 2. So I'll say yes, and that all goes away. So I'll leave this stuff here at the bottom uh, for the base. I'm not going to need this chamfer and this revolve. Um, let's take a look at this. I might not want to use this again in the future. So let's just come into this sketch. And if I right click on it and say edit sketch. And I hit F7 to slice the graphics. It'll give me a cross section of this. So all of this is good if I want to create a bishop out of this. But when I get into this area here, I might want to make some simple adjustments. So what I might do is grab these and I could just modify that a little bit. I'm trying to get essentially the, the shape for a bishop. So right now if I delete out those by making a crossing window around them, what I want to do is add something more circular in here now, which will carve out the geometry to make it look like a bishop. So I'm just going to come back to the lines, do something similar to what we did before. I'm just going to draw out a little, little shelf here, come straight up, back in. And then by leaving my cursor on the end, you'll see that gray dot means that I can change over now to uh, an arc. And I'm going to leave that, that arc and then come back around and bring that down there. So if I revolve this right now, it's obviously not going to look that great. But now I can grab this by the center point and and drag that in to the way I, to the way I like it. That looks that looks decent there. So that'll be a, a, a decent bishop for us to use. I'll just come up to this extend tool here and I'll close that off. And now let's see if that'll have the look we need. So I'll say finish the sketch. And now I've got something that looks a little bit more like a bishop. Um, so I'll probably work on this a little bit and make it look a little bit better. But um, all I would need to do now is come back and save that instead as bishop white. So let's take a look at that. We'll save as. I'll call this bishop white. And let's see what happens if we unsuppress this feature here. We get that chamfer that we had uh, before as a result. So I'm going to go ahead and make a couple modifications to this. And I'm going to start making some pawns. A pawn obviously is going to look a little bit like this, maybe just a little more squat. But um, that's a base object reference node and how you can use your pre-existing parts to create new parts to suit your purpose. Um, so that's uh, it for this video. If you have any comments or questions, please send me an email or leave them in the comments section and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. Bye now.